Welcome to Chat on the Sofa. We're really excited because we've got Bob with us today. Um, and Bob, we'd just love to hear a bit about how this year's been for you, what it's been like for work, for family, um, and home life. Tell us a bit about that. Okay, lovely. Um, basically, for me, it's been um, obviously a, a demanding year. Um, I think we should say that as a family, um, we try to have a family holiday with all the generations uh, once every two years. And we were led to have a holiday in Centre Parks, but Centre Parks in Holland in February 2020, uh, round about um, the third week in February. And we there was news of a, an issue called COVID or coronavirus just percolating around the world, but no one in this country was paying too much attention to it. So we had an interesting holiday in Holland. Um, it was a great place. Uh, we were on the coast and uh, abiding memory is how freezing cold it was with the wind rushing off the North Sea. And um, for anyone who's thinking of going to Centre Parks in Holland, um, our advice would be stay in the UK because the Centre Parks in the UK are much more modern than the Dutch ones and they've had much more money spent on them. Plus the Dutch seem to like the swimming pool a lot colder than what we do. But uh, we, we were away, we had a great family holiday and the reason why I say that is it then set us up for the uh, next sort of 15 months really. Um, so for me, COVID, and it's the same for a number of men, um, I, I, I just had to work. I was working extremely hard and I'm used to, in part, working from home. So I, I was many, time, many days or many weeks working close to seven days a week um, with long days. So on me personally COVID didn't have too much effect on the work side. Um, I, I'm actually at the time I was uh, chairman of two technology companies. Um, both companies had been built up um, over the years and um, we also were in the process of it commenced in October 2019 in the case of one company and the process of selling it. And um, I have great affinity with um, folks in business and with regard to COVID, because in many instances, uh, COVID has dev devastated their businesses. And I, I've seen lots of uh, difficult situations that COVID has put perfectly decent businesses into. And in many instances, people have lost everything. Um, but we were fortunate. We, um, I should say now that uh, 10 days ago, we completed the sale of the second company. Um, for anyone who's been in the business, and we're talking about medium-sized companies, uh, you know it's advisable that selling a company is a bit like um, it's described as climbing Everest. Um, it is incredibly intense and demanding and challenging. Uh, you're dealing with multiple packs of lawyers and accountants who are all scrutinising everything to death. So it's a very difficult period in that sense. But um, I think it's fair to say that the Lord has been with me. Uh, I've survived, come out the other end. Yes. And, um, uh, that's the news on that front. Um, and despite COVID, um, COVID certainly caused a lot of issues in the sales process, um, with, particularly with regard to one company. And one company sale went better than expected, and one company sale went a lot worse than expected. So I'm not sure what the real message was there to, to me, but um, that, that's the news there. Um, but the big effect on COVID on me uh, has been a lack of seeing family, uh, uh, family members and by that I also mean the church family members 
And I, I always thought of myself as a people person. Um, it's a bit like um, iron sharpens iron almost. It, it, with seeing people, the body being together, I think is very powerful. And that's what COVID has robbed. Um, that getting to, properly getting together and properly interacting with people. Uh, and and what um, has your journey with God been like over this year? Has he highlighted anything? Has he um, worked on anything with you? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, I think I, it, it's probably the big word to me and it's been a pretty consistent word um, is actually come from something that Mark's church would spoke about uh, probably two, three years ago back now. When he preached on uh, or spoke on adventuring with God. And that what, what it's been like for me is uh, when I don't have structured Obviously, particularly when I've been involved selling companies, there's a highly structured day in the sense that there's probably four or five Zoom meetings, there's searching for documents, there's dealing with issues, questions, etc. And you know that you are going to be working away for a good number of hours each day. Uh, but it's not structured in the way. And there's an incredible number of times when I just feel that I've been on a journey and that has been an adventure. And the big thing about an adventure is you don't know what's coming. Or, or my version, my view on what adventure means is you're breaking new ground. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what's happening. And virtually every day you see the sort of God move in a way that you're not expecting. So uh, very much adventuring with God. Um, lots of people have asked me, what are they, what's coming up next? What am I going to do next? What, what's the, the future gonna be? Um, am I going to retire and everything? And obviously people expect you, or seem to think, you. You, do, you need to know the answers. You, you need to be able to respond and say, well, it's very simple. I don't know. Um, only God knows. And he hasn't told me yet. And that's all part of the adventuring process. And how do you feel about this adventure of not oh, knowing? Oh, excited. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we should all be excited. But, uh, you know, there's... We have... The, some some people talk about the dreaming and everything. God has given us the power to dream and, and also the responsibility to dream. So I don't know what your dreams are but, and everything, but God, God expects us to dream. And out of those dreams, I think you can see many things come and they're, they're exciting things. I think... 2022, I think, is going to be a very exciting year. 2021 will be, but I think 2022 will also be exciting. And again, in South End, I think we're, we're, we're seeing um, a lot of um, input from guys that have really experienced God and helping us develop as a church. So that's what I think. 2021, 2022 are going to be great years, very exciting years. Fantastic, really good. Um, I just wondered whether you'd be able to pray for people who are watching, um, if they feel like I just there might be some people watching in a similar position, not knowing what's next, maybe a bit fearful actually. Um, I just feel like there's something on you about actually it's an adventure with God, it's exciting, and just to be at peace about that. Do we have to see that? Uh, of course, yeah. Let's pray. Mm -hmm. 
Father, we just pray that anyone who is fearful for the future, that right now you'll send the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, to allay any such fears. But I also pray, Lord, that you would open the eyes of everyone who is listening. If they are fearful of the future, if they're not comfortable with thinking in terms of adventuring with, with you, uh, stepping out of the boat, as it were, into a particular situation, I just pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will indeed touch them and guide them and comfort them. Amen. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Bob. It's been great to hear from you. Thank you. Look forward to seeing everyone on Sunday.